The downflooding point in a ship's stability is a critical parameter that designers consider to ensure the vessel remains stable under various conditions and does not capsize due to water ingress. The hull. It is the point at which water starts entering the ship, leading to a loss of stability. To specify these points, naval architects and designers follow specific procedures and considerations. 1. Compliance with regulations. Designers adhere to international and national regulations and standards that specify criteria for ship stability. Organizations such as the International Maritime Organization, EMO, provide guidelines to ensure the safety of ships. 2. Stability criteria. Designers establish stability criteria based on the ship's type, purpose, and operational conditions. This involves considering factors such as metacentric height, GM, writing arms, and the area under the writing arm curve. 3. Determining downflooding points. The downflooding points are determined through careful analysis of the ship's design and vulnerability to water ingress. This involves identifying openings, such as hatches, doors, and other access points, that may be submerged during healing. 4. Freeboard. The freeboard is the vertical distance from the waterline to the main deck. Maintaining an adequate freeboard is crucial for preventing downflooding. The freeboard is designed to be sufficient to keep openings above the waterline during normal operating conditions. 5. Limiting heel angles. Designers consider the maximum allowable heel angles under different conditions. Beyond a certain angle, the risk of water entry through openings increases. Limits on heel angles are established to prevent downflooding. 6. Watertight integrity. Emphasis is placed on the watertight integrity of the ship. Bulkheads and compartments are designed to prevent the rapid spread of water in the event of localized flooding. Watertight doors and hatches are important elements in maintaining stability. 7. Model testing and simulation. Advanced computer simulations and model testing in tanks are conducted to study a ship's stability characteristics. These tests help identify potential downflooding points and refine the design to enhance stability. 8. Operational considerations. The downflooding points may vary depending on the ship's intended use and operational conditions. Designers take into account factors such as loading conditions, cargo distribution, and dynamic effects during maneuvering. Specifying downflooding points involves a comprehensive analysis of the ship's design, hydrodynamics, and vulnerability to water ingress. It is an essential aspect of ensuring the safety and stability of the vessel throughout its operational life.